we have gotten on this planet so lost in our health issues that people go to school for 10 years, 15 years to try to understand what's going on and it just makes it worse. And we have a pharmaceutical company that has gotten so out of balance that the killing rate from pharmaceuticals are millions and millions of people each year. So one has to be real careful in their choices of how they wish to take care of their conditions. If you treat your problems like they're diseases, the chances of your dying or being hurt are extremely high. And when you do treat your symptoms, there is no cure to that because you're not focusing in on the cause of your symptoms, you're treating your symptoms. When you treat your symptoms with pharmaceuticals that suppress the symptoms, then the cause in the body escalates and escalates until the blowback is big. A good example of that, and many of you have taken steroids for acne and things like this, only to see the blowback from that. You can't do that. So it's important to understand why we all suffer. And you have to look no further than hand to mouth. You know, your dietary habits, your drinking habits, your eating habits, what you put on your skin, and of course what you breathe. All these four areas is how you consume chemistry at this level. Uh, the air, whatever chemistry man's dumping in it, plus the natural chemistry of the air from the nitrogen to the oxygen to the carbon, etc., etc. Then you've got all, for the ladies, they have all the makeups and antiperspirants, where the antiperspirants, of course, stop and suppress lymph nodes. When you suppress lymph nodes, then, of course, you're going to see a tumor on the other side. So, we, man has been digging his uh, grave by his fork and his spoons. They even have movies on that to show you that. So, when you awaken or when you suffer enough, or maybe when you see a friend feeling really good, maybe that is a little doorway of opening to allow you to break this conditioned consciousness that's, that, that souls are trained here with, and you can wake up to a new world. And this new world is one of life, full of energy, full of chemistry, and that is only had by not, by not killing your foods before you eat it. Now, for some people, the idea of eating their foods unfired, unprocessed, seems a little strange since for generations we've been firing our foods. And the only reason that you can trace back is when man moved away from the tropics. Remember, the Homo sapien is a tropical species. We're a frugivore, there's only two major frugivore species on the planet, Homo sapiens and primates. These are the two main uh, fruitarians on the planet. Where did men ever think fruits are bad for you? And you, you see these people in these higher levels of academics who think that sugars are bad, that all these things are bad, and they just pump high proteins. Well, the sad thing about it is, for you new people, protein might shock you, but protein is our problem, not our friend. All you have to do is be a bodybuilder and build with some proteins and see what happens to your kidneys, your bowels, and uh, the rest of your body in terms of inflammation. It's important to simply understand that you can look at life simply from two sides of chemistry. Chemistry is either base or alkaline, or it's on the acid side. And, of course, we talk a lot about that here. And understanding which side of chemistry causes all the pain, the swelling, the breakdown and atrophy of your body is important. In the medical community, they're hollowing alkalosis, and everyone else on the planet is hollowing acidosis. If you understand chemistry at any length, you're going to hollow acidosis, because everything builds and breaks down into acids. Acids are the corrosive, obviously, side of chemistry. You know, one of the biggest problems we're facing is look at all the young folks with acne. Just to give you an example, one must realize there are four phases that even the medical doctors talk about. 
it's four phases you learn in aerology, and it's basically the four phases of life. You have your first phase, which is called acute. This is by eating something, some proteins, or eating some dairy products, and you get a cold and flu-like symptom. That can be an acute manifestation of the mucus-forming nature of dairy products. Fills your sinuses and your bronchi and your lungs full of mucus, and then you're going to have a cold and flu-like symptom or bronchitis. And here's medical over here claiming these are diseases because they're looking at the bacteria and the things like that and instead of understanding that what's the chemistry that was ingested and what people don't understand a lot of chemistry is mucus forming because it's irritation to the mucosa of the GI tract is well known and dairy products dairy proteins and gluten proteins are extremely mucus forming it's well known the mucus forming, but the glue-like nature of gluten and flour products, particularly refined flour products. We use them for paper mache in China for put fans together. Uh, streets have been laid. Soles on shoes in Jamaica put on with white flour paste. That's how hard as a rock that the white flour paste becomes. And so we, we consume that. So our bowels, of course, uh, has been a wreck for a hundred years. Our GI tracts are um, a mess, and you can see the shape and size of them by the stuff that comes out. But when you start cleaning your body out, and we use detoxification as our doorway and our, our road to Wellville. And Wellville is a place where it's full of dynamic energy, it's high consciousness, and the body is healing as rapid as you heard it. Uh, it's unbelievable, Wellville. And Wellville is a, is a balanced state, uh, I'll say a base balanced state in chemistry. It's a hydrated state where your kidneys are filtering and moving out the, the sewage of the body. Your blood is feeding all the cells well. Study that lymphatic system as we put it out there. It is the system that man's problems are in. And this is simply your body's sewer system. And this sewer system is there to protect you. Your blood isn't there to protect you as it is to feed the cells. This is the kitchen. Your sewer system, however, is where you get protected by, and that is the lymphatic system, which is much bigger than the blood. If you realize that the spaces that are around all your cells in your body are called interstitial spaces, and they're filled with 20% blood around 80% lymph. Lymph always dominates the blood in the human body by far. I think, uh, and we've talked about the new lymphatic system and the other lymph system they just found in the brain. They're finding new parts of this system now uh, in the last five years more and more aggressively. It won't be long the medical doctors will finally catch up with their brother and other medical doctors who believe that the lymph system is man's problems. They just didn't go far enough. And so that's what we're here to do is educate the world on how to get well in a simplistic manner. We have been taught that you have to have 10 years of school and then you still can't figure out why man suffers. And that's all bullcrap. There's no such thing. It's easy to understand how you suffer and why you suffer. And it's easy to turn that around. 